the Deep South's oldest rivalry. Number one Georgia battling Auburn, and look who decided to make his return. Cam Newton in the building getting Jordan Hare going, and it had its effect because Auburn came out of the gates like it was 2010 again. On the first drive, a 66-yard dash from quarterback Peyton Thorne set up Alex McPherson for a 27-yard field goal to get the Tigers on the board first. Ensuing dogs possession, Brock Bowers throwing across the middle gets nabbed by Jalen Simpson, marking his fourth interception already this season. Sir, it's September 30th. That is a bad man. The freeze warning was issued in quarter one, but Jarquez Hunter had different plans. He turned up the heat, bodying his way into the end zone from five yards out to grow the Auburn lead to 10-0 at the end of the first. Georgia's clock was set to come back time in quarter two. Dewan Edwards carried it in for six, and then the Dogs even the score 10-10 with a 37-yard boot just before the half. And that's when matters turned over to the hands of Georgia's tag team quarterback Carson Beck and tight end Brock Bowers. Beck found his evil twin Bowers four times for 121 yards in the final quarter alone, and Auburn just had no answer. Three Auburn defensive backs couldn't even stop Bowers on this one as he took the rock 40 yards to the house, giving Georgia the lead 27-20 with 2.50 to play. Auburn started their two-minute drill hot with a catch and a first down from Rivaldo Fairweather. The hope was in the air. Fourth and nine from the Auburn 48. Peyton Thorne drops back, scrambles, throws, and gets intercepted. Auburn faithful in shambles. 27-20 the final. Georgia's 22-game win streak stays alive. Next week, a bye week for Auburn, and head coach Hugh Freeze knows that this battle with the number one will fuel his Tigers moving forward. You have a chance to you know, to beat the number one team in the country and back-to-back -back national champions at home. And the feeling that you get if you can pull that off is uh, is just ecstatic. And you can certainly uh, build off of that. And hopefully we can build off of the way we played better today. But um, it hurts and it's, it's, it's disappointing that uh, we didn't find a way to get it done today. But I'm really proud of our kids. For Eagle Eye TV, I'm Vince Wolfram.